Happy Monday, Shorthorns. We hope everyone had a fantastic weekend, and uh, we are excited for another great week here at Claymont. Um, this week and the last week, we've been talking a lot in Second Steps about perspective and thinking about other people's perspective. Um, I was in Miss Donnelly's room, and we looked at a coffee mug, and we noticed that regard where uh, depending upon where you were in the classroom, that coffee mug looked different. And that can be the same in a lot of the things that happen uh, out at recess, in the cafeteria, in class, in the bus, where we may feel like something happened a certain way, but others might see it in a different manner. And so that's part of one of our core values of empathy, which is thinking about how others might be feeling, caring about how others feel, and then being able to think about maybe their perspective. Because when we do that, it's easier for us to work together to solve problems. So this week, as we go through the week, I want you to think about other people's perspectives, how that can help you solve problems, how other people might be feeling in a situation, and seeing if that can help solve some of those conflicts that you are having. Uh, what do we got going on this week, Ms. Harms? Well, tomorrow, which might it's seem Tuesday. kind of weird, is yeah. a Tuesday. Students are not coming to school. Don't come here. Do not come. Well, you can come. Don't come. If you come, we'll say hi, but then we'll have to call your parents to pick you up. Tomorrow's an election day, and so there will be a lot of people coming from the community to different schools and churches to vote, um, and so students do not have school that day. Teachers will be here. but We will be here, yes. working hard, but you guys, stay at home, do something fun, read a book, read a book. All right. So, that made me think for the day that students are home tomorrow, Yeah. if you are outside playing, would you rather ride a bike or ride on like a foot push schooler? Neither being electric, like old school bike or scooter. Oh, a bike. I would do wheelies and uh, well, I'm not, well, when I was a kid, we had a ramp and we would do a ramp and I was, I was pretty good at it. So I would do a bike for sure with a helmet, with a helmet of course, but I would definitely pick a bike. What would you do? I'd probably pick bike I like going, I would like when I was a kid, we lived on a little cul-de-sac mm -hmm. that you would go really fast on the hill and then break and yeah, mm -hmm. and turn it. Yeah. I also so, like standing. Listen, we both just gave you two probably unsafe things that maybe you should not <laughs> no, do. Neither of us could do that. You should not do, no, it would be bad. <laughs> Uh, I do always love when I see our bike rack up front full of bikes. It fills my heart. It makes me happy. I love seeing that. So shout out to all our bike riders uh, that ride their bikes to school. Um, do you want a joke? Yes. This is a good one. Okay. Um, shout out to the Freylix, by the way. They've been giving me, handing me these jokes uh, every week, which come in very handy. Um, so what is a dog's, I actually have two. I'm going to do two jokes. What is a dog's favorite snack? Treats. Not treats, no, ruffles. That's courtesy of Jackson. Thanks, Jackson, for that one. All right, this is another good one. Okay. What, what state has the most pirates? The most pirates. What state? 50 states. I'll give you a hint. It's not Hawaii. Missouri. Arkansas. Awesome. Shorthorns. Have a shorthorn great week.